while the Taiwan elections are over, how is that going to affect Alibaba and the Chinese stocks? Well, all I've been seeing are negative news, such as this article here. It says Taiwan voters dismiss China warnings and hand ruling party a historical third consecutive presidential win. There has been nothing but negative news. Chinese stocks like Alibaba has nothing to do with fundamentals. We all know that Alibaba is undervalued, has a low PE ratio, it is oversold, and they're buying back shares and they're giving out a dividend. But guess what? The stock is still going down because it's not about fundamentals. It's about political risk and it's always about political risk. I got into Alibaba thinking that we would bounce and I was very wrong. Wrong for three years. Is this going to be another bearish year? Four years in a row? Look at this four year weekly charts. Ever since it hit 319 back in 2021, it has been nothing but pain. Trading sideways. A lot of people lost calls, including myself. I lost a lot of money. A lot, a lot, a lot. I wish I have never got into these Chinese stocks. Just imagine if we put our money into any, any of the U.S. tech stocks. Amazon, Google, NVIDIA, Netflix. We would actually be up this year and last year. And we would not be stressing over how much lower is Alibaba going to go. Many of us just want to break even. I don't know what it's going to take because it sells off if the U.S. market sells off. It sells off when the Hong Kong market sells off. And of course, it doesn't go up when the market is going up. And we all know that the U.S. market is going to have a pullback soon. And that's going to have a great effect on Alibaba and the Chinese stocks. Ooh, I don't want to know how much lower this can go because if this breaks below 70 look at the last time it went below 70 was back in 2022 went to 58 dollars i thought this was behind us but it doesn't seem that way it seems like it's going to continue to go lower i don't know what's going to take but look at these options again people are buying weekly calls including myself i lost a lot of money in these call options this is january 19th expires next friday the 80 call strike a lot of people thought it was going to go up to 80. we have ninety-eight thousand open interests and these are worth practically nothing take a look at the quote details these were once over five dollars just in october and now they're worth seven to eight cents i just can't believe it I remember when I first got into Alibaba, there were fines and crackdowns, and I thought it was going to go away, but it never does with these Chinese stocks. So just be very cautious if you're buying calls, especially weekly calls. And even if you bought leaps, they're down quite a bit as well. So it doesn't even matter unless you buy shares and just hold on and hopefully in 10 years or so, it'll be above $80 because right now... Nothing is helping Alibaba. Let's go ahead and take a look at the news here. So this is Benzinga Bulls and Bears. And if we take a look down here under the bears, it says Congresswoman Laura Lee sells Alibaba stock after criticizing China. Everyone seems to be selling Alibaba. The only people that are bullish in Alibaba are the ones bag holding it and we are holding a very heavy heavy bag unless you bought at the very low and again this can get lower just because a stock is oversold doesn't mean it can't continue to become oversold Whew. let's see how the next few weeks few months plays out but just be very careful when you're buying calls I'm stopping on calls because i've lost a great amount of money already in calls and i regret it i regret getting into these chinese stocks like i said if i had just put my money into any of the u.s tech stocks i would be sleeping peacefully at night i would be eating well but nope i'm not sleeping at all i'm not eating well i have like a lot of anxiety just being in these stocks and it's hard to get out of it because you're just hoping that it will go up Hoping that one day, one day, one week, it'll go up to 100, above 120. 
Let me know in the comments, are you buying more Alibaba shares or did you already get rid of this junk? And thanks for watching.